when online tutors are getting started with their online tutoring business, they often start thinking about some of the little details about running their business. And one question we get a lot is, what kind of scheduling tool do you utilize in order to schedule your students? Now, if you've used a tool like My School Books, which kind of is like a back office for online tutors, and it's only twelve ninety five a month, which is awesome, it does have a scheduling feature on inside of there, which makes it easy for students to schedule. But sometimes you are scheduling appointments for other things as well, and not just students. And like I'll schedule appointments with people to do like collaborate on a YouTube video or to collaborate on something else, another endeavor. And so it would be weird for me to have them go into my school books to schedule an appointment for something like that. So I use a tool that is called Calendly. Now other people have other tools that they enjoy as well, and I'm going to be featuring those tools like Acuity um, in another video. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how to use Calendly, what does it do, and how does it hook, hook up to your system. So I am going to share the screen right now. And this is Calendly. In the beginning, you're just going to want to click sign up. But since I have already signed up, I am going to log in. Now, when you do sign up, it'll ask you if you want to integrate it with uh, your current email system. And what it does is it will actually link. So I use Gmail. It will actually link your Gmail account and your calendar with Calendly. And it, it also links up with others as well. You can check to see if it's compatible with the calendar system that you use. I do use Gmail, so that does make it very easy for me. So you can see here, I can schedule a 15 minute meeting, a 30 minute meeting, or a 60 minute meeting. Now, the, this is the, the, the calls. You can call this whatever you would like to. If you wanna call it an initial assessment or something else, you could do that as well. But what will happen is that if we come on over here, you can share your link with anybody that you want to share it with. So I just copy this link and then I can share it with people and I, I just copy paste that on into an email where they're talking or um, inside of a Facebook message, wherever it is that they are trying to schedule a time with me. This makes it so easy, you guys. I don't have to go back and forth between several different emails. I can just tell them right off the bat, like here are the times that I'm available, and I have set the system up so that it only has the times that I'm available. So I can go to uh, Calendar Connection, and I can go to account settings. And in the account settings, that's where I can choose the times that I am available to take calls so that people aren't scheduling me during times that don't work. So you definitely wanna put what your time zone is because this is another beauty. When you start working with people all over the world and you are trying to come up with their time zone, remembering what time zone they're in and scheduling them at the appropriate time, can sometimes be tricky because when you have a book salad group of people that you're tutoring with, all of a sudden you start forgetting, oh shoot, what time zone are they in, right? And it's kind of embarrassing to ask that question. So you have to look up the information, what time zone are they in, so that you guys can come up with an appropriate time. This way, you don't have to worry about that embarrassment whatsoever. You just select your time zone and then on their end when they are scheduling you they select their time zone now your calendar is going to show up in their time zone the times that are available isn't that awesome i think that's just a truly amazing and fantastic i absolutely love it if i wanted to change the calendar i can do that right here so it says right now here you're con currently connected to this calendar if i wanted to change it to a different calendar i can do that there It is free. Now, when I first started my, my subscription, I started with a free subscription and I am going to upgrade. Uh, before it was, I could, ha I could have three different types of meetings and I could do that for free without having to upgrade. Now I can only have one type of meeting and then I can upgrade. I kind of gotten around that by just telling people ahead of time before they schedule, hey, we're only gonna need about 15 minutes or 30 minutes, but it's gonna be shown on my schedule as an hour block, um, just so that you know. So whatever your starting time is, that's where we'll start and it'll probably only last about 15 or 30 minutes. So that I kind of gotten away with not having to have the paid subscription um, using that strategy. 
Uh, but I do, I do like the idea of being able to break it down into a 15 minute meeting and a 30 minute meeting. Another thing, if you have the paid account and you want to link it to collect payments, you can do that as well. So all you have to do is click on uh, collect payments. So that way when somebody does schedule a time with you, then they have to pay for that scheduled time with you. So you can see here, you actually have, when you set up that event time, you have the ability to be able to choose and select which day and time is going to work best for you um, when it comes to that kind of an event, which is a really cool feature. They also have a help page. So if at any point in time you guys get stuck, you can click on the help page and it gives articles and walkthrough videos on exactly how to use this tool, which is really, really helpful. And that's something that you should look at um, if that's a, a learning style that you have, does it have walkthrough videos if I get stuck at any point in time? So that's Calendly, you guys. I hope you get a chance to check it out. It's I I am absolutely loving it. It has saved me a ton of time, especially this time of year, you guys, when people, it's, so right now it's, we're going into the summer season. My kids have one week left of school, most of them. And then we're off into the, the summer world. Their times change. So by giving them a link on Calendly, I can now say, choose the time that you would like to um, schedule for the summer. And I will then reserve that, make it a recurring event for you so that you don't have to schedule it each time. Or if you have somebody who is, they, they want to schedule it every single week, they can, they now have the ability to do that. Before that would have been way too much of a hassle to do that. And now it's not. I have one homeschool mom who uh, she, she has a very crazy schedule because she is, she's traveling. She even brings her son with her when she travels. So I get to tutor him when, wherever he is in the world, which is kind of cool. But she needs to, because of her work schedule, schedule on a week by week basis. And now all she has to do is just go to the calendar link, and she chooses the time and day that's going to work for her. And I meet her at that time and day. So if you're thinking of going with a tool like this, this is definitely one that I would suggest. Have a great day, you guys.